so this is Don Quixote with their essay by Sofia Huynh. So key notes about Don Quixote, um, he is extremely passionate about being a knight errant. He strongly believes in enchantment, villains, and damsel in distresses. And he is extremely proud and happy about being a knight errant. Um, so this brings um, into question why does Don Quixote die as Alonso Quisano and not as Don Quixote? Um, this question is brought about to me because Cervantes spent a majority of the first part and the second part trying to establish Don Quixote as a knight errant but at the end of his life he is now a common human being just like other characters in the story so my first theory for as to why Don Quixote dies as Alonso <coughs> Quisano is because Cervantes wants to show that madness is driven by people's perception of how a person is on a normal basis. So, for instance, throughout the novel, many of the characters are trying to say that Don Quixote is actually mad, but when Don Quixote becomes Asano Kisano and says that his behavior as Don Quixote was mad, the barber, the curry, and Samson Carrasco all proclaim that Don Quixote is mad. So this is a contradiction and it shows that when a person acts differently from how they normally act, they are often judged by the strange, by the behavior that is perceived as strange. So my second theory is that Cervantes doesn't want anybody else to write a sequel to Don Quixote. Um, this is a theory because he was extremely mad when someone else wrote a sequel, um, which was proven evident when two men Don Quixote encounter at the at the end stated that someone tried to usurp your name and annihilate your exploit. Um, so by killing Don Quixote as Alonso Quisano, um, Don Quixote figuratively dies and now only that he literally dies, um, which means that no one else can continue his story. Um, on the other hand, um, another theory would be to show that Cervantes believes in a purpose-driven life. So Don Quixote becomes really sad when, once he is defeated by the Knight of the White Moon. And um, with this defeat, he no longer sees the inn as a castle with like moats and towers, etc. Um, so this ability to see the inn as it is, is a symbolism for crushed dreams and that his reality is no longer filled with endless opportunities to act as a knight errant. This idea <clears throat> is strengthened when Alonso Quisano states clearly that he, his judgment is now clear and unfettered and that the dark cloud of ignorance has disappeared which can be said 
of dreams which are often perceived as childish, childish and secondary. Um, the third, no, the fourth theory would be to strengthen that um, the claim that Cervantes believes that all people die as equal. So throughout the novel, by having Don Quixote be a knight errant, he is set apart from the other characters in the story. So by having him die as Alonso Quisano, he becomes an ordinary man and as a result dies as equal to his peers. So, in conclusion, the fourth theory as to why Cervantes has Don Quixote die as Alonso instead of a knight errant is because he wants to show that madness is affected by people's perception. Um, he wants to prevent others from continuing his story on Don Quixote. He wants to declare that he believes in a purpose-driven life. And he wants to enforce the theme that people die as equal.